Operation of Aerospec Oil. Setup. After unpacking, place the instrument on a stable bench top. Make sure that the vent holes of the analyzer are not obstructed. The analyzer requires an environment with ambient room temperature in the range from 10 to 45 degrees Celsius. Turn the instrument and connect the power cable to the plug on the rear side of the instrument. The AC input voltage can be anywhere between 85 and 264 volts. If the instrument is used in mobile laboratories or in the field, it can also be operated at 12 volts DC using a DC-AC converter. For data transfer or remote control, the unit can be connected to a network by the Ethernet interface or directly to a computer or printer using the USB ports. Put the inlet tube in the lure inlet on the right side of the instrument. Then place the waste container next to the instrument and connect the outlet tube to the outlet on the left side of the instrument. Switch on the analyzer by pushing the power button on the front. Making a reference measurement. Before the first measurement, after the instrument has been turned on, a reference measurement using N-heptane must be made. Click the reference button. Insert the inlet tube into the N-heptane container and click OK. The fluid will be automatically pumped into the cell and the automated measurement sequence will be activated. After the scan has been completed, the pump will be activated once more to remove the fluid from the system. Making a measurement. Direct trending. To make a measurement, oil type, sample ID, operator and method must be selected. Select the oil type for the oil that shall be analysed. This will determine the standards that will be used for evaluation of the spectrum. To enter a sample ID and an operator, click on the fields and enter the name via the keyboard or select stored names from the drop-down menu. To make a measurement, insert the inlet tube into the sample container and click Run. This will activate the automated measurement sequence. After the measurement has been completed, the results will automatically appear on the screen. All available ASTM, JOAP and DIN standards will be calculated together with TAN, TBN, viscosity at different temperatures and viscosity index. Click Settings to append the list with additional parameters. The results can also be printed on a directly connected printer or via Ethernet connection to a LAN or network printer. Making a measurement, spectral subtraction. If the fresh oil spectrum has been measured on the instrument, it is possible to evaluate the difference between the fresh and used oil spectra. Spectral subtraction enables more detailed investigation of the degradation and contamination of the used oil. To make a stored result available as a fresh oil spectrum, click the Results tab. Mark the line of the sample that shall be added as fresh oil and click the Add Fresh Oil button. The fresh oil spectrum can now be selected by clicking the button next to the Method in the Measure menu. The Method field now shows SS for Spectral Subtraction and the name of the fresh oil spectrum. Press Run to start the measurement. Viewing the spectrum. To view the spectrum of a measured sample, click the Results tab to see the list of saved measurements. Select the spectrum by clicking the number next to the sample name. To view the spectrum, click the Spectrum button. Use the IN and OUT buttons to zoom. For a spectral subtraction measurement, it is possible to view the different spectrum. Click on the Legend tab and mark the SS box to view this difference spectrum. To compare more spectra, click Open and select the desired spectrum from the list.
Adding a spectrum to a library. Aerospec Oil uses a library or database to calculate results for complex parameters such as viscosity, viscosity index, TAN and TBN. These libraries store typical samples together with the known values of these parameters as determined by the respective reference methods. For best accuracy, it is recommended to create new libraries with your specific samples. To create a new library, click Libraries in the Measure menu. Enter the name of the new library and press the button New. To add a spectrum to the library, click on the Results tab. Mark the spectrum where the complex parameters have been obtained by the corresponding reference methods and click Add to Lib. Select the desired library from the drop-down menu and type in the values of the parameters determined with the corresponding reference methods. By clicking OK, the new values will be added to the libraries. Data Export The results from the measurement can be exported to a USB stick. Click on the Results tab to see the list of stored spectra. Mark the spectra that shall be exported and click Export. By default, all ASTM, JOAP and DIN standards, as well as the correlated parameters, will be exported to the results spreadsheet. Press Save to save the results to the USB stick. A very convenient alternative is the automatic transfer of the data to a LIMS system. There is no software required. Just connect the instrument to the local area network via the built-in Ethernet connection and define the folder and file name where the results shall be stored. Remote control, data transfer, software upgrade, result review and much more is possible with the Aerolytics Aerosoft RCS software. Please make sure to carefully read the instruction manual before you start with the first measurements. The manual is available as PDF file on the delivered USB flash drive. Additionally, you will find a one-page laminated short instruction inside the accessories box. If there are still questions remaining, please contact our well-trained local representatives or contact us directly via our website at aerolytics.com.